Hello, welcome back to my channel and to today's video, which is another unboxing video. I know I've done quite a few of these recently, um, but I bought a product and I thought, why not show you, why not make it a video? Um, basically, um, I got sent a voucher by Dyson. Uh, you might have seen my unboxing of the supersonic hairdryer, um, which I returned because I didn't think it was worth the money. Um, however, they reached out with a voucher for 30% off um, their refurbished products and I needed a vacuum cleaner. I've been looking at vacuum cleaners anyway. Um, I like Dyson. I'm a bit of a, a nerd when it comes to appliances. Um, I did buy a cordless Dyson whilst I was at uni, but that now resides at my parents' house. And the house that I'm living here in here in London does not have a vacuum cleaner. Um, so I have purchased the Dyson V11, um, but it is a refurbished model. So because of that, it is far cheaper than obviously buying get brand new. Um, so this particular model retails at £550. Um, it was then on the Dyson um, refurbished store, which is on eBay, for £375. But I had 30% off on top of that, making it roughly 264 I believe. So obviously, you know, still um, a great deal of money, but um, Dyson products do, you know, do have the quality behind them. Uh, my parents have always had Dyson vacuums and they've always lasted us a very good amount of time. Um, the handheld one I bought in 2000 and 2020, I bought it and it's never had a single issue, it's still running at full capacity. Um, my, my parents also have a Dyson upright vacuum which they bought around 2018 and again, it's been perfect, it's never, never had an issue with it. So I do believe that you get good value for money with them. Um, and obviously, at £264, that is less than half of the original RRP of 550 which I won't pay. I haven't got that much money to be spending on something like that. Um, the other thing with this is that um, by buying it through eBay, um, you can use PayPal credit. So I've chosen to spread this over 12 monthly payments. Um, and I am paying interest, but the interest works out at an extra £17 over the 12 months. So I thought that was worthwhile um, to, you know, just make it a more affordable way to pay. So anyway, um, that's the sort of preamble done. Um, I'm going to open the box and I will show you. Okay, so please excuse any dust you can see, but obviously, with not having had a vacuum cleaner, it's been a bit tricky to... Uh, keep on top of that, hence why this guy has arrived. So, here we are. So the first thing that we see is the telescopic tube on top so it's in this lovely sapphire blue colour and then you can see the main housing here underneath here we have a lot of accessories so crevice tool some sort of mount. We have the plug. We have a uh, upholstery attachment. We have the roller head, which I think is for hard floors. We have the motorized brush tool, which is good for stairs or cars. And finally, we have the main brush head. Um, now, all these parts to me look brand new, so I wonder if that's part of the refurbished thing, is that they give you the new parts to go with the actual vacuum. Um, so...
here it is. Um, on first appearance, there are a few little specks on the cylinder here, which you can see that it's been used, but nothing necessarily dirty. Um, the screen has some slight use to it, the screen on the back there. Um, it's got fingerprints on it, but again, nothing, no damage, which needs a bit of a wipe, which is, you know, not sure why they didn't do that in there because it's quite visible, but hey. Um, so there is the main body of the vacuum. Um, do we have anything in here? Aha, uh -huh, in here we have another tool, which is a mix of either the... Um, crevice tool or a brush tool um, that's handy for cars and then we have the wall mount for if you want to charge it on the wall which I'm not going to use because this is a rental property and I don't want to drill into the walls so I'm going to leave this in here for now so that's everything that's in the box other than of course the instruction manual and returns info um, so let me get this plugged in and we'll see, oh, it's already got power. Okay, and we'll see how it works. Okay, so as you can see, I've put the foam roller head on it and the tube. And on here, it tells you how long you've got left on it. So this is on medium battery, or you can put it on eco battery or go to boost. And when you start hoovering, it will tell you how much time it's got left. So, see if we used it on boost, you'd only have 13 minutes and that was a really powerful suction. Or if we move to eco, or let's go to medium. Go to medium. You get 36 minutes rather than 13. So like almost three times as long, um, but obviously less of suction. And then let's go to Eco. That reckons you're going to get 73 minutes, basically, off one charge from using it in Eco mode. As you can see, just from doing that, we have got a little bit of fluff and dirt in there. And we literally did the same tiny bit of laminate for a few seconds. Like I moved it about 10 centimetres. So... Um, yeah, let's let's see how we get on with eco because on laminate, the thing is, because there's no carpet pile, there's nothing for it to struggle to get up. It should get it quite easily on here. Um, and also, this rug needs doing, but rugs with vacuums can be a bit tricky. So we'll see. Okay, so I'm gonna try and vacuum the rug on the eco mode because it's the least powerful, and obviously it's very easy for this to just get sucked up into the vacuum but it does need a good hoover because I've been here for six weeks so far and it's not had one. I've just been sweeping it as best that I can. So yeah, let's see how we get on with that first. I have got the foam roller attachment on it because um, that's best for hard floors. And I also figured as well, it's a bit less volatile. Is vol volatile the right word? It's a bit less harsh than the brush. So it might suck the rug up less than a brush. I don't know. Those are just my thoughts. So it's on eco mode. I hope you can see that. Okay, so I can push it. I just can't pull it back. That's fine. Okay, so that is the rug, and I'm not sure if you can really see, but there is some fluff in there, so it is definitely getting stuff up. I mean, the other thing is, this room doesn't get particularly dirty because I don't wear my outdoor shoes in here. Um, so yeah, it shouldn't be too bad anyway. Um, I'm actually also going to hoover the underside of the rug whilst we're at it. <laughs> Oh, 
Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the rug. Now, I don't know how much of this debris you can see, but there is quite a lot on the floor. And I'm hoping that, again, because there's not much friction, it's on um, a hard floor, that keeping it in eco mode, it'll still get all that up because it's not having to work against a carpet pile in order to get it. So let's go. Okay, so let's see what you can see. In there, look, you can see all of the crud that it has collected. Um, there you go. Like I say, <laughs> there really wasn't that much on the floor as it was to begin with. It was more dust than anything. Um, but it's definitely picked up everything that was there because it's very visible on this floor if there are any little bits. And um, yeah, there's none left. I do have another rug though that I want to do, um, so I'll get that. Okay, so as you can see, this rug has very visible signs of muck on it, um, where it's been walked over several times and the, the colour really shows you that. So this will be a good one to see how well it performs on because you can see it really clearly. Oops. So, still in eco mode, let's see. Well, you can tell where it's been, can't you? Okay, so that's an eco, and as you can see, they've still got this little patch of dirt here. There's a little mark there and there. That might just be a stain, or it might actually be mud. But I'm gonna, out of interest, see if I can try it on medium and see if that gets it. Oh, that's tackled it. Okay, and then finally, why not try it on high to see if it will get rid of the last bit, or boost, as they're calling it. Okay, so there is still that mark there, and I'm beginning to think that is just stainage now, which, yeah, because... That is a stain more than mud but well it's mud that's in it but i feel like it's more stained than loose particles however what i'm going to try is taking off the roller which is really easy to detach with a button and instead we will put on the main brush attachment like so Let's see what that does. Okay, I don't know if you could tell there, but the suction with this attachment on is far more than with the foam roller. And um, I was really struggling to push against that. So let's go down to, it's called auto with this one on. So that must be because this brush head can sense what, what kind of flooring it's on or something like that i'm assuming but it's it's changed from medium to auto so it must know which attachment it's got on it 
um, for it to change to that. So let's see. Okay, so that is still way more difficult to push. As you can see, it's more or less drawn out the last bit of that mud. Okay, that's that was even stuck to the laminate and I couldn't move the whole thing. But look at that now. From what was a full thing of mud all over that, there's just this tiny little remnant, kind of that tiny bit there, that little bit there, I'm not sure if he's picking it up on camera or not, but I think that's done a really brilliant job of that, and definitely using the brush head rather than the roller head has made a big difference, but that kind of makes sense with it being a carpet texture rather than a hard floor. So let's do the back of it. You can hear it change the suction as it goes, so it must be able to depend. It must be able to detect how much air is passing through it and how much it's sucking up to just use it at the right setting. Um, is all I can assume from that. I've not actually researched that. And it could tell then that it was getting jammed on that and it's actually stopped itself, which is good. Because a lot of vacuum cleaners just carry on regardless. There we go. So immediately, as soon as it can sense that something's got jammed, it stopped there, which I think that's brilliant um, because that's a really good safety feature, especially prevents the vacuum from breaking. Because if you get something like a I don't know, a pair of earphones, corded earphones, tangled it or something. It's really difficult to get them out and can damage it. So here we are. That is how much rug. Oh. Silly me. That is how much rug it has sucked up basically. Um just from doing those two small rugs in that little section of floor. Uh, now the other thing with this machine is that this here is the filter, so it just screws off. And that's the filter, so it's got the tap symbol, which means run it under warm water um, and then leave it to dry on a radiator for 24 hours until it's fully dried. Um, it's also got the honeycomb filter inside it. So I've only got one hand at the moment because I'm holding this, but I assume that means that the tap section detaches, I'm not sure. Um, but you also saw on the screen there that it says filter not sealed. So it shows you to put the filter back on and twist it in place and then we get the screen back again so it's a very intelligent bit of kit um, and so far the um, suction power on it has been absolutely brilliant on top of that the battery is really great having almost um, what was it 67 minutes on eco um, power that is amazing so the Dyson that my parents have the handheld one it's the V8 and it has two settings, normal and max. And it, firstly, it doesn't have any screen on it, so you have no idea how long you've got left. But secondly, it definitely lasts no more than 20 to 30 minutes, even on the lower setting. So that one's basically got double the power of the one that we've got at home already. Um, and it has all the intuition of knowing when to stop the brush rolls if something gets caught in it, um, telling you that you can't use it till the filter's back on it. Um, all of that, which the V8 does not have. So yeah, I can understand why it's an expensive bit of kit because the technology that is in it um, is clearly, you know, uh, advanced. Um, and you saw it got the mud out of that rug with the correct attachment on it on the right setting. Um, so as per, you know, typical Dyson quality, it does a good job. Um, but yeah, I think that's basically everything I've got to say on it. So rather than making this a ridiculously long video, I will leave it here. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, but yeah, I mean, I only bought this yesterday. It arrived today. Um, I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting this, 
but um, have a look on, I'm not being paid in any way whatsoever, but if you're interested, just have a look on the Dyson outlet store on eBay, um, because I'm not sure how long this 30% off offer is going on for. Um, but yeah, again, like I say, not being paid for any of this, bought it with my own money, told you about the payment plan. Um, I just thought I would put it into a video so that it's there in case anyone is interested. Uh, so yeah, I will leave it there. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.